Sneaky Linux, back today, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Today we've got one for you, another new offshoot, should we say? It's called Linux Lite, and it's for new users to Linux to make you like nice and gradual and easy for you to use Linux, basically. Now, it's based on Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. Now, if I didn't know better, I'd say I'd be looking at Salix, because it does look really Salix, like this sort of XFC thing here. Runs XFC, by the way, in case I didn't tell you before. And as you can see, it's lighter than a feather, because we've got a feather here, and it's very light and floaty. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So anyway, we're going to have a quick look around for you, and we'll go from there. Installs in around about 8 to 10 minutes, nice and easy, no big deal, lovely jubbly. Downloads, just over 900 megabytes to download, because there's quite a bit on there, so it's DVD style now, yeah, DVD style not CD, which is a pity, but hey, you can't have it all your own way all the time, can you? No, you can't. So, time and date, my Ethernet connection here, or wireless, if you've got wireless, by the way, my sound is on full blast. Two workspaces for the moment. I normally work four to six personally. You can have as many as you wish, okay? Over here we have the terminal, we have our file system, and we have our default web browser, which is Firefox Mozilla. Oh, yeah. Let's open it up. Yeah, might as well, while we're here. We'll have the Fox for you, wait for another for you. Here we go. Reasonably fast, that's okay. Google is your home page for the time being. And as I'm in the UK, it'd be Google UK, okay? But we also get up here, a little link up here to the Linux Lite Guide. Now, basically, if you go here first, you should find out everything you need to do to do with the Linux Lite. It's tried to really, really make it as simple as possible, even by cutting out a lot of the things you would like to install. So there's a big under... In, in, I'll start again. Under additional software, there's add and configure users, calculator, instant messaging, remote desktop, restricted extras, all in one big lump, really. You don't have to go and sort them yourself, okay? Which is rather nice. And also, there's also a link here to the Linux distro community, which is where Voltan lives sometimes. I'm sure he comes out sometimes, but he lives there. If you want to go and visit them, go do, and check them out and see what you reckon. It's not for everybody, but if you want to fancy it, go and give it a go. Okie dokie, nice. So that's the fox. Oh, while we're here, what version have we got here? 15.0.1, so it's nice and up to date. That's okay by me. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to go to the menu, okay? So you get run program. So, so you, you click that when I run a program. In theory, if I type in Firefox, it should actually auto-complete most of the time, but I've typed in Firefox. Will Firefox open? Yes, it will. That's nice. That's what I'd like to see. Okay, that's one bit out of the way. You get help and support. Install your updates. Now, there's no graphical user interface for updating, okay? And you're going, oh no, oh no. But it's quite simple. If I click on install updates, well, I've already done it. As you can see, I've installed it. It doesn't take too long. It's all done by the terminal, which is easy peasy. So it just wants my password, so that's fine. I'll just chuck that in, as you do. It goes through it, and it will run through it to see how many updates there is. Now, there shouldn't be any at all, because I've not long done it, okay? Bolton only sent it to it not too long ago at all. And there weren't any, so it's gone. Bye-bye, all done. But that's how you do your updates, okay? Whether there's auto-updating, I don't know. I've not checked that out yet. I did look for it, but I couldn't find it. But obviously, I might not have been looking hard enough. Right, under settings, remember it's XFCE Super -E Dupery. So if I go to the settings manager first, and we'll check that out. If you're used to XFCE, you'll know what you're looking at. You can basically change anything you want. So you know what I was saying about workspaces earlier? There's only two down there at the moment. So if I click on workspaces, me one click one time, I'm going to click on four. You'll now see we've got four workspaces. So you, this is the way I divide my day up in sometimes, or what when I'm working. I might have some video stuff going in there, I might do an audio stuff in there, I might have the web open in there, I might have an instant messenger open there, and Skype might be running on top of that. And so you can keep tabs on what you're doing, which is rather easy, easy, really, in XFCE. Back to settings. Accessibility, appear, accessibility appearance, and desktop. Remember, it's more based on Ubuntu than XFCE Ubuntu. Okay, so you do get some more options here. Don't forget to install the drivers of choice. So if you've got proprietary drivers, so ATI and NVIDIA, you may want to go here. Hopefully it should all work hunky-dory for you. You can install and remove software. So this is the main software section. So if we go here, password again, and in theory this should be Synaptic Package Manager, which it is. Right, some of you may have trouble using this, but basically you go to search, you put in the package that you want. So you want it to find OpenShot, for instance. No pictures for you. In theory, it should come up. Bearing in mind, the latest version came out the other day, and I think that's it, which is rather good, hunkly dory. Nicey, nicey, super duper. Okay, so to stop you from doing that, what the old guy's done, what the old guy, I think I'm older than him, 
Where are we? <clears throat> if I go down to where are we? System. Install additional software. Okay. He's actually put a little section in there with all the software that you might want. So say you want Flash and you want your video codecs and your MP3 codecs and codecs for codecs. You want the install restricted extras. So if I click on there, and you'll see what I mean. First, it wants my password because it's all in the terminal. So let me do that again for you. If you please, he's going to check it out for us. Right, I think we want 7 point, sorry, 75.7 megabytes of additional disk space will be used, and it wants to download 57.1. So shall I say yes? Because I can always go to another window and do something else, can't we? So we're going to say yes. Dun, dun, dun. So it starts downloading that stuff and doing stuff and getting all our lib codecs and everything like that. And while it's doing that, we'll just go to another workspace and do some other stuff, okay? So anyway, we was at settings originally. Now, also here you can check out all your Java policy tools, session the startup, settings as it says, your window manager and window tweaks, lots of tweaks you can do. Under accessories, we've got application finder, a bit similar to run program, your home folder, home folder screenshot, task manager. So if I open up the task manager, it will be doing stuff at the moment because I'm actually doing some stuff over there in the terminal, aren't I? CPU's gonna, oh, not a lot really, and it's not using much RAM, so I'm quite happy about that. No big deal, oh, yeah, that's lovely. Graphics, you do get Gimpage as standard, so I'm going to open up Gimpage. Now it's Gimp 2.8, so it's the most recent one. Now will it open up in a single window like you want it to? Let's have a look. Woo, 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 super flag guy. Going to make you higher. Thank you, dear boy. It's all in the one large window is where we want it, not in the three separate windows. Nice. That's how I like it. Okay. okay, next we're going to, to internet. As I said before, Firefox is your web browser of choice here. Remember, you can get any one you want to. It's entirely up to you. So if you want to get Chromium, get Chromium. If you're going to do Chrome, get Chrome. If you want to see Monkai, go and get the monkey. Easy peasy. Okay, here we also have Mumble voice chat. Remember, Mumble is where they are, the yeah, MDC. And then it's the community. You can go and check them out there if you want to. Uh, more, not for the UK, there's more people from without the UK. So we say, for a simple reason, they're all over the world. But there will always be somebody on at some stage of the day, and this is around about 3, 4 o'clock, it's pretty quiet then. Thunderbird for your mail, you get wicked, wicked jungle is massive for your network manager, especially for your wild ass. XChat for IRC stuff. Under multimedia, you get XF burn for your CD and DVD burner, I'll open it up for you so you can see what we're doing. So look, there you go, nicey nicey, all done. Really easy, it's like all the others really. It does what it says on the tin and it works, which is what we really want it to do. It's really, don't we? Yeah. You also get the, oh, blimey, see, and it's quick. Did I see that? It was quick. You also get a mixer, you get the pulse audio volume control, and VLC as standard. You may want to put something else for multimedia, it's entirely up to you. You can get no mem player or whatever you want to use. Right, under Office, normally I would expect to find Abbey Wood and G Numeric, okay? But it's just what he's done here. It's just ripped out LibreOffice Writer, LibreOffice Calc, basically. So this is LibreOffice Writer, as you can see, all there, does what it says on the tin. Super. So yeah, that's a nice little addition there, wasn't it really? And it's easy, as you can see, it's so easy to use and it's really, really quick. So if you've got new hardware, it's going to fly like the wind, okay? Right, and the system. As I said, you've all got to install additional software, so I've told you that before, haven't I, already? Configure your network shares, install, remove software, I've showed you that. NTFS configuration tool. Well, I've not got Windows, so I won't be using that for me myself, okay? Partition your drive, which is GPART head. Check out printing. Caps is already installed for you, so do printing. You should just plug in your printer and it should work out of the box. Your resource uses, your system information, and your task manager. You also down here get lock screen and turn off computer, which I'm not going to do just yet because we're doing stuff. I'll go back to another window. Oh, I want to click OK there, don't I? So click OK. And do, yeah, do I? Yeah, no. Yeah. If you want the, the fonts, you have to accept it, basically, at the end of the day. I forgot it did that. Basically, this is the restricted extras that you would get from um, the Synaptic Package Manager, but it's just internal. He's made a shortcut for it for you. He's made a little script up that does what it says for you. So, yeah, does all that, really, yeah, anyway. Anyway, Linux Lite, simple, fast, and free, based on the Ubuntu 1204 LTS. Super duper nice. I'm liking it. Shall I wait until this is all done? Yeah, well, I don't have to read, do I? Because it's just installing my extras for me. But at the end of the day, that is Linux Lite, simple, fast, and free. If I right click the desktop, and we go to desktop settings, in theory, we should get some more. Ah, yeah, I've got some more stuff here. 
So we've got oh, I love Linux down there and a little pretty cat and some penguins and stuff like that. It's really nice. Here we go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look there. Let's go back up here. Oh, look, it's one. Let's try that desktop environment now. You could choose that one. I love Linux. Very nice desktop. What have we got there? We've got Abstract Blender. We've got the QB one there. We've got Linux there. The other Linux Cube. There's a really colourful one there we're going to try out. Yep, that sound looks good to me. And it's a reasonable quality as well. Yeah, I'm lacking. And my extra's already installed. So in theory now, I should be able to go to my web browser. And if we chuck in the YouTube. Okay, I'm just put it up there because it's on the top, of course. Go on, hurry up and do your job. Get rid of that for a start. Goodbye, see you later. I'm going to put in me so we're not breaking any laws because we don't want to do that, do we? And there is me. I am there. Thank you very much. Dun, 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 dun. So there I am. If I go to my channel, I have a bit of drinkage whilst doing that. Uh -oh. This last video I've done a couple of days ago, which is on GNOME, Ubuntu GNOME 12.10 Remix Beta. Da, 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 da. Does Flash work out the box? Five, five, three, two, one. Oh, bloody, oh, bloody adverts. Who puts them on there? Hey? Who, who does that? Oh, I just don't know. I don't know. We'll skip the ad. And there we go. Go straight into your vidvo. So it works as soon as you install the restricted extras. Okay. So I'm going to come out of that. Just to, from my own personal preference here, I'm going to go up to the system, additional software. Yeah, there's stuff for video editing as well. Anyway. On the whole, very nice to use. Bearing in mind it's only a beta 2, I'm not supposed to rate it, but I'm going to. I'm going to give it 91%. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye -zy bye.